What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. We're here for you. Hi, Mike. <laughs> what's going on, Chris? Season, uh, what season is this? Two? Uh, this is season two, episode three, The Night Road. The Night? The Night Road. The it sounds like an 80s, like an I 80s. I know, I know. It probably was. I mean, I'm sure. When the night closes <laughs> in. That's what I was just saying. When the night closes in. Yeah. Uh, the Night Road, if you will remember, Michael. Yes. Uh, yes. It's, uh, it's the collective inscape of all the twisted, you know, Yeah, all the demon, the demon, the all dog, the killers. All the asshole creatives. <laughs> yeah, what's his name made a cameo? A snake. Um, Tom Savini. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's right. Uh, yeah, he was in there for a quick second talking to Manx in uh, Parna- Parnassus. Parnassus. Parnassus, yeah, the Parnassus. Yeah. yeah, we saw. So we saw that last year. Last year, we yeah. saw that shit. Well, well last year. Yeah. No, it was like a year and a half ago. I don't know. Anyway, well, last season. Yeah, last season. Whatever. Well, it was. I'll just I'll just use the correct term of season. Uh, yes. Yeah. So I mean, that was pretty cool. Um, you know, we do have some questions from some of our yeah. viewers, but I just wanted to jump mm-hmm. on that real quick because we didn't get any questions about that, but. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, that was, you know, that was some good stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I, you know, there's a couple things again, we didn't get questions for this, which is why I want to just talk about it real quick, uh, before we jump into the questions, let's just, since we're at the Parnassus, we're talking. So Vic decides yeah. she's going to, first of all, Vic was an idiot in this episode, just an absolute moron, right? She's kind of been, yeah, she's kind of been tough. These first few episodes with just the way the character leaves her family in the first episode and, and is drinking and she can't stay with her dad. Cause you know, because he's she's not drinking, drunk he kind of, <laughs> he kind of cleaned up his act and you know, it was, um, I mean, even when she was in, in her mother's house and she's looking through like the RISD, um, yeah. uh, acceptance the, letter her, and all these kind of things, she's kind of, yeah, thing. she's taken a real, you know, one eighty um, from when we saw her last season. So, yeah, let's talk about the Parnassus stuff and you know, why. Yeah. How, how, do, how do you think she even got there? Because you know well, we she talked said, about she she learned. Yeah, well, she was looking for Manx, so the bridge yeah, border to Manx. But, but remember what Manx told her when he met up with her. Well, the only reason people can get there, and, right? Yeah, right. There has to be something inside you, some kind of dark, dark and inside twisted her, so let's souls, see. right? Yeah. So, but but she yeah. does because she's got death on her mind. Like she's she's got that, and and she's also like out of her gourd like she's drunk like she i mean yeah i guess you don't have to be evil but you but at least you have to have dark thoughts and that's where she's at right now she's in a dark yeah. place she's in a dark place yeah so there you go um what sense. i what i didn't like was how she just completely just missed oh uh, with the with the guess. and it was yeah. it was like one and done you she missed it it's done and she yeah. just left I was yeah. like, all right, like she what the hell was for like a like a rocket launcher or something? Yeah, <laughs> like what was the whole what was the whole point of that? You know what I mean? Like that yeah. was just like a waste, and then she just ran. She turned tail and ran. I mean, what yeah. else is she gonna do? She didn't. She you know she's like, ah, damn it, I'm not ready for this. You yeah, know, I thought missed, I thought she it missed was, her opportunity. Yeah, I thought you know, I thought she, it was a little. No, she had the opportunity. She squandered her opportunity. Well, man. yeah, she messed it up. You yeah, know, but I don't up. know. I thought it was a little weak. But hey, you know what? I, that's it. That's what it is. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna get on it. You know, I mean, story wise, it's like she fucked up. Like she just she mm-hmm. wasn't ready. She's just very impulsive and was like, I'm going to end yeah. this now. No, you're yeah. not. Vic is only third episode. You're not doing any. Yeah. Of that. And you know what? And, and she's not taking the advice of her family, obviously, because her dad's telling her what to do as far as the drinking. Her mother's telling her you have to fight for your family. You can't like just quit on your family. Well, she kind of. Yeah, they don't know, that. though. You know, they yeah, don't know. She kind of. No, 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 no. But she but she does take her mother's advice really in the end with, you know, uh, well, she well, yeah. Well, after she screws and... up, well, she screws up. So it's like, well, I guess yeah. I got to go to Plan B, which is do what my mom said. By the way, <laughs> real quick, I just want to say Virginia uh, Cull as Linda. I I like that. I like I love her character. I love her character mm. a lot. I liked her in this episode. I thought it was great. I've always liked her character. I thought she's played really well. I mean, yeah. You know, my wife was watching this with me, and she's like that lady's way too young to be her mom. They look like they're the same age. And I'm like, technically they're only like, they're not that many years apart in real life, but she is supposed to be like, she was 16 when she had her. So, you know, yeah. what is she? And Vic, she's 20. Well, Vic is, yeah, she's around 23 ish, right. Or something around there. Then the mother, she was 17, 18. Oh yeah. When she had her, 
Yeah. Right. So she's almost she's almost thirty. But so the mom is should be like almost, you know, whatever you figure 30, 40, I guess. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah, it's a little it's a little <laughs> off putting. But Virginia yeah. Cole really good as Lynn. I really enjoy that character. I, I every time she's on screen, I like it. I like her, yeah. and her dad's pretty cool too. I like that guy. Um, yeah, his name is Eben. I forget his. Oh, yeah, I don't remember his but, name. But he's good too. Um, yeah, you know. But uh, yeah, no, Linda really good in this episode. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, and then just real quick, you know, yeah. So, so she obviously. Did you realize she was talking about Maggie, when she says, "I I pulled some strings or I, whatever. I have some friends and stuff." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Maggie's obviously with that. the yeah, Maggie's with the FBI. Yeah, I, which was pretty cool. Good for her. Yeah, I didn't realize yeah. that that's what she meant. And then, and then she was mm-hmm. like, and then she she was there, and then her son was like, whatever, ma. Yeah, good. I know. Good. I'll be. I'm okay. You know this and that. Yeah. Oh, what no, you think it's... about? Sorry, What's I have that? all these questions. For no, you. no, 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 no. What did you think about um, Lou meeting? Uh, uh, what's his name? Bing, and like the phone call he made where he's like. You know, Obi Wan. I need my Obi Wan, and like yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's great. I mean, it obviously shows, you know, even it just shows the disconnect. And um, I think I think Lou is fed up, just like just like Wayne is. So we'll see what happens and how um, how safe they really are uh, with the police. With I forgot the name of the of the. She's uh, an FBI or she's FBI. a cop. I she's FBI. I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we'll see what happens with them, but I think the big the big question, and we didn't get this, so that's why I want to bring it up, is who Manx was really looking for at Parn- uh, Parnassus in the first place. Well, okay, so he he was looking for his friend there to he was set for Abe Abe to set up a meeting with the Hourglass. Yeah, which was very interesting because obviously that's how you know the ending um, the ending of the episodes we see this guy we see we see this this well-dressed man which is and, cool because it's another creative we're gonna we're gonna meet another creative role and his thing. ear was bleeding so that tends to um he like was, look with with vic with her eye bleeding so he, or was he using his one so he was using his he power must have or been he using he his ability somehow something? or something yeah yeah that's what i'm kind of curious about what's going to happen with this character now and, and how he yeah, has right. this time travel or i don't even know what his power is yeah whatever yeah yeah. so um i mean obviously they only give us a glimpse of him but it was it was cool to to see how as soon as abe mentions manx you know um he's he's curious he's like i'm curious to meet this man and and abe also brings up vic and he's like who is this vic mcqueen so let's see the threat level um of vic what yeah. about uh we so just going back to um Wayne and Lou, mm-hmm. we had a question from Stacy yeah. I, uh, uh Wayne and Lou, you know we know that they got away from from yeah. Bing and Manx, you know, uh she wants to know are they safe with Maggie? Yeah, yeah. No, it's a detective, <laughs> right? She's a detective or girlfriend, not FBI. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember if she was FBI. I think or, she's she, was, she was, yeah, she was obviously covering the case with Bing and. And all this kind of stuff. Well, so, okay. So, are they safe for now? Well, okay. So, did you watch the coming attractions for the next episode? No, I didn't. So I didn't. we see Maggie using her tiles. Okay. So, are they safe? I mean, I would venture to say f- relatively safe, because you figure she's got an early warning system, kind of. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And they and and Maggie also in said Maggie. in the episode that. Um, that we're all going to do this together. We're going to beat him together. Right. You know what I mean? The only I'm thing that senseless. I have one question about, which I would say for now, yes, but in the long run, no. Well, no. Because Manx um, handed Wayne the candy cane. And he has the candy he cane. He still in has pocket, it. Right. So, I, so you know, that's a locator. You know, it's like a little, it's like a little yeah, GPS. Like a, little, like a conduit. Or, yeah. It's know, a G- like, I, think, oh. I think it's more of a GPS for, for Manx. Yeah. So he can always find him where he is. And, you know, that was the whole point. Yeah. That was the point. He knew he, he wasn't going to get in the car with the Christmas presents and stuff. Mm-hmm. But he hooked them by saying, oh, you don't get to celebrate Christmas, do you? So yeah. he hooked them that way to get, get him enticed. And then he gave him the little GPS candy cane. So yeah, yeah, he's gonna be able to find him wherever he wants, but he's biding his time. Manx is like, uh, Manx has got a new lease on life, right? He's got his daughter mm-hmm. back, he's got his powers back, he's got his wraith back. He's gonna be talking to this other thing to help, probably help get rid of Vicky, you know, Vic. So, yeah, so yeah, are they safe? Probably not, but 
you know, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll... <laughs> for this, for this episode, they were safe. They were safe. Yeah. <laughs> they um, can relax. All right. So let's, uh, what do you let's move go? on. We've, we've got a, we've got a couple, a few other questions. Let's, um, why don't we go to Millie? Let's talk about that because that was, that was a really cool, interesting thing at first. Yeah, that was real. That was really cool. That was really cool. I'm really glad we've seen a lot of Millie. I think she's a good character and, and, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. right away we're already seeing like last week we had a question. Do you think she'll turn against Manx? Uh, this week, we've got a couple of good questions. Uh, yeah. Why don't you read one of those? All right. So boys? we'll. I mean, well, it, we can kind of mix them together. This is from Tom and Matt. Um, so Tom asks, "Do you think Millie remembered killing her mother?" Now, quickly, I'm going to say, not until she went into the house and her mother held her, because if you missed it, which I'm sure you didn't miss it, because you're watching closely, just like I am. But for a, for a, for a split second, that reflection in the mirror oh, was was Millie's real life self. She right. walked in, I mean it was her room. She put on her you know an old dress or whatever that was, a lacy little thing. So I think at that moment she realized and remembered. Yeah. I think um, well I think maybe she remembered her old self as far as her mom I don't think well, she, she remembered you don't think killing. Her mom, she knew her mom was up there or anything like that. Well, no, no, but then, but she wanted she so she cuts the head off the the dead deer yeah. and leaves it on the doorstep, which is pretty <laughs> okay. And it's then, mafioso, right? And then she goes and she sees, um, t- who it is, and then she sees that it's. And she calls out and says, "Yeah, you know." So she so, says Millie or whatever. Yeah, I think so. at that point. We didn't mm-hmm. see that. We actually haven't seen the outcome of that because it kind of went away from that. But yeah. I think, I think, I think, if anything, that's where she would remember killing. Now, yeah. what does that mean for children? These children, if they're yeah. ever, obviously, Manx is keeping that house. He's obviously keeping the wife, it's, his yeah, wife, alive, which is which yeah. is interesting. So he yeah. he re- so she did die, but he couldn't let her go. Well, maybe maybe he couldn't maybe he couldn't kill her because she was killed in the wraith. Maybe there's something like that along those lines. But what I about mean, all the people that they've killed? Then where are all they? Right, where are all the people that he brought to to have the kid? Now, or well, is it the kids Millie? Eat, the kids eat them. Is it Millie? Is it the, Millie's the... inscape? Like, or is it her part of her? Well, she does mention, I saw a light in the, I mean, he says, that's true. That's actually a good point. Maybe that. The house isn't from him. It's from her. Yeah. Maybe she's bringing that and like she manifested that or something. Yeah. Like maybe she's her like part that's of. A, she's I mean, that's added. cool. Don't I mean, forget, she's been be. there for how many years? Many, many years. Yeah. And she could. Yeah. She, you know, why couldn't there be an in- her inscape? I, I don't know. But either way. I mean, that's that's cool. I don't necessarily think that's the case. I think that well, let's let me add to the question that Matt also said yeah. with this, and is, um, do you think Millie and her mother can reunite, possibly take on Max? And I think that might be more of a situation that we can see um, on the show. Uh, I'm sure this isn't the last trip that Millie takes to um, to see her mother, or can the mother come to her? You know, we don't know, you know, there's there's been a lot of traveling that Manx doesn't like. And when Millie calls Manx at the bar, he says, you know, if you travel out those gates, you get on the naughty list and all these kind of things. So obviously he's trying to keep that stuff from from the from not only Millie, Maybe but it is his the other house. children. Maybe he did make that house and he just keeps. Yeah, because that was the, that was like their house. Well, right, but, but I'm saying he's the one keeping her there, and if you, obviously yeah. she's she's dead, she's got yeah yeah it, she's attacked and yeah so so we'll I mean if it, she, it was just cool it was really cool though I you know I don't okay so here's the thing I don't know at this right now before mm. you know she has she doesn't understand or know what that house is or we don't know if she's getting her memory back but. I don't think at this stage Millie's ready to turn against her dad. Like she's just mad at him. She's just upset yeah. with him. She's not going to turn. That's not that's not a reason for her to turn. First of all, she doesn't. She has no one else. Those kids don't mean anything well, to her. So now she, so she, she well, may have right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Now will they re- yeah. will they unite? I don't know what they can do to him. I don't know what they can do to him. Now I'm going to tell you. Yeah. This is a deviation from the book. All what's happening right now with Millie that wasn't in the book so okay this section is off book take that for what you will i'm just telling you you know that's not something that is 
you know, as far as I can remember from mm-hmm. the book, that mm-hmm. that's something planned out. But yeah, you know, um, you know, will they take? I mean, again, we don't have any reason. There's no reason to believe that she's going to take Manx on. And if it's a if if the mother is a apparition of 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 Manx's mind, you know. Th- you know, are they going to turn? Against I don't. I think. I think they have all the reason to take on Manx. Look well, at, you, look uh, at, yes, but but can they being figments of his inscape? You know what I'm saying? Is all I'm saying. I'm, I don't know if they're free yeah, will. Well, well or this being just, his inscape, he's are they just memories? Much more right? Is it just like a memory? Is it just like a? We don't know don't what so. form that the that the wife is in. I don't remember her name. Yeah, but we don't know what form that is. We don't know what that is. So until mm-hmm. we until we do. You know, I think I think we'll just yeah. we should just let it be right. for no, now. No, that was that was I mean that was a, that was a, a good question. You so, know, we and do I really have... like that. I really like those scenes too. Those so are fantastic cool. scenes. Those are my favorite yeah. scenes of this episode, after, especially yeah. after you know watching Vic, you know, stuff it so bad. Yeah, um, well. Although I did like her going visiting her, you know, her mom and dad. That was pretty cool. To yeah, get them back. Yeah. Uh, one last question. Now, this is from Charlie C. This is a question that we got that. We talked about last episode. Yeah, and I, exactly. But yeah. Charlie wants to know: Can the children of in Christmas Land come back to the real world? If so, what are our our, our ideas? I mean, we talked about this, and and I yeah. think, but I think we kind of agreed that I don't think they can because the boy left Christmas Land, went into the white, whatever, right? He went into this, this yeah, into the stand, field or into and that he, and static, he, and he yeah. died. Well, he he, oh. he disappeared, and and that yeah. was what we saw. I think no because manx is a vampire and he took their souls he drained them of their life force Mm -hmm. and they now only exist as demons in his inscape they can only i feel like they can only exist in his inscape so my answer would be no i don't think they can go back because he's he's drained them of their life force their essence and what of of who of their innocence so I think no. to, I mean, to a degree, you can obviously still see that even though Millie is eating children, that well, there still is an innocence and a sensitivity and a love for her for her oh, dad. True. She's different than she them, was, though. She was she was frightened. She's different when she was them, going though. into the house. Yeah, but she's different you know? than them. He what he did to her, he doesn't. He, he what he does to the children, he hasn't done to her. But I will say this. Minor, maybe spoiler, or a little. I'll give you a little teaser. Mm-mm. If you don't like spoilers, leave. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Here's a little teaser to answer the question: Couldn't they come back okay. to the real world once they've made the transformation? No. But before they make the transformation, don't forget there is that ride to Christmas Land. I'm yeah. just saying. I mean, it seems relatively fast from what we've. I'm. I'm from, just. From... I'm, I'm, what the hell? What is that? Oh, my cup. You see that? You see yeah. that on my hand? I was like, "What is what that?" Holding? What I'm, the heck I, I'm, I'm holding my cup, my my water. Oh, cup. oh, oh! <laughs> I'm like, "What is that on my?" Own? Very, very forcefully, you're holding. I'm it just leaning because I'm leaning on, on I'm your leaning hand. On um, but yeah, yeah. So anyway, that's my. I'm gonna tease. You know, yeah. don't forget they are on a they are on a, a trip, mm-hmm. and if that trip. So you're saying if they if they if he has a child and they're going towards Christmas Land and the kid somehow gets out, or someone a, goes to save him, right? Yeah, there's a chance yeah. that they can come back. I mean, because also I look, think. well, it, it goes by the back seat. Because mm. remember, Bing was in the car in the front, and he didn't change. It really only goes by. Well, right. So the, the back seat, seat is where the draining takes place. Yeah. Or, uh, you know what? It's really all up to him. Because when you have when he has adults back there, like they don't change. Because the remember when anymore. Craig was dying in there, um, what you want to call it? Vic was trying to pull him from the She's front. Putting, right. It's it's, the, it's it's its own little ecosystem. Thing. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Right. So, I mean, as far as the question and asking, I, I'm optimistic to thinking that these children may be able to come back because that's just me. But we have some, I mean, I was looking around and like nosing around after mm-hmm. I saw this question and, and, and some of the ideas where some people say that when like a, when a kid is taken or something, another ornament is in, is in um, uh, the sleigh house. Right. Trees. Right. Um, is there something that there a connection right between the kids? Yeah, is there a connection between uh, you know every child has an ornament? Is it just ornaments? Does it mean nothing? Did that little boy that went through the static now is he laying underneath that tree as a human child again or something like a regular like himself? Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. I definitely don't have any kind of real theory or idea 
Uh, I'm going to really think about this as the episodes go, go on, mm. but I'm going to be optimistic in the fact that I do think that there is a way back for them. And mm. I really, you know, like Millie was like kind of crazy and you're like, yo, this little psycho little kid, but you kind of, you like, you feel for her in this. Well, yeah, they've, they've made her more of a, uh, uh... because she's not just like a little demon. She misses her dad. Yeah. Her dad leaves. She's like upset that her dad leaves. Yeah, right. She's frightened by seeing images, you know, her mother right. in, in the house. That's why, that's why wouldn't she know that, oh shit, I did that to her by biting no, her? No, I, I mean, stuff? if she's going to remember, she's going to remember. But, and well, that that's might, why I think and that, that in that moment, yeah. that kind of. You know. I think I think we don't know yet. I think we'll see yeah. the next time we yeah. see her. She'll be like she she'll probably remember. Oh, I did that. Or oh, the mom will be like, "You did this to me." <laughs> yeah. So yeah. either way, she's probably gonna get that memory back, and then Manx will, and then ha- you know Manx will have to yeah. deal with it. So yeah. All right, look. Uh, yeah. Let's uh let's drop it there. That's it. Um, yep. I think we've talked about. It. Thank you everyone for sending in your questions. We appreciate it. We hope you enjoy yes, us absolutely. answering them. It gives us something to do other than jabber on and reiterate what yeah. happened in the episodes. <laughs> Um, yeah, we try not to do that too much. Try not much, to do that. Right. Mike, Mike chastised me before the episode tonight, and that's fine. <laughs> no, no, um, no. But yeah, no, it's good. So uh, yeah, yeah, so th- thank you again for that. We appreciate that. Don't forget our Facebook yes. group. Um, yes. And what else we got? Uh, we got Third Person Pod on all the social media outlets, obviously. Um, we're trying to post um, uh, also in our YouTube channel uh, when we're um, – when we're going to be make, recording these videos to get your comments in, your right, or your yeah. questions, I should say. Right. Uh, we tried to do some polls, too. I know it was a little crazy with the 4th of July weekend, so we didn't get a, po- I a just poll up. To put a poll up. Um, yeah, so, I mean, we're, we're there. What's we're on all the social position? medias. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, shucks. Oh, shucks. Um, yeah, so check us out. I mean, again, we always like to post. Usually, we record on Mondays. It's a little tough. So yeah. usually Sunday after the episode airs, we we post in all the um, on the page. Like we got about a, a day or two. Yeah. Get your questions. Yeah, in. yeah. Fine. Get the questions in. What you want to see? Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. I think that's about that's it, it, man. That's it, bro. That's, that's it. it. And if you are, I will give another quick shout. It'll be at the end of this video. It might be right now. I don't know, depending on if the last twenty seconds or not. <laughs> Check out our interview with John Bruno, who did the special yeah. effects for this. And that's all we're going to say. It's really awesome. And also go check out uh, Daniel Wu and Sherman Augustus. We just talked to them uh, a few weeks ago. About a, yeah, but yeah, a few weeks uh, ago. So go check that out. It's probably it's all somewhere around in here. That's it. Thank you so much. We love you guys. We appreciate your support. And we will see you for the next right. episode of Nosferatu. Yes. Nosferatu. <laughs> I just like when Zachary Quinto says that. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> see ya. Bye. Later. Oh, nice little pating. You got a little pating in there.